Thanks for joining us at five. The baby formula shortage becoming more of a nationwide crisis with area parents here now trying to help each other find some kind of solution. And now President Biden has invoked the Defense Production Act to help speed up production. Yeah, that allows the government to direct manufacturing production for national defense. Congress is also pushing for $28 million in emergency FDA funding to help them with the shortage. And the company Abbott's plant closure due to bacteria contamination played a major role in the shortage. It produces nearly half of all formula in the country, and that's leading to a call for more competition in the market. Make sure that there are not just one or two global companies controlling things, but instead that we have a lot of different producers in different parts of the country. Well, tomorrow, a House committee will hear from the head of the FDA at a hearing on the baby formula shortage. And as the struggle to find formula continues, thousands are turning to Facebook groups to find and ship formula to struggling parents. KCR 3's Maricela Dela Cruz spoke to a mom who's using these services, as well as one woman helping to ship the product across the country. Parents across the nation concerned as more shelves are emptied from baby formula. So thousands are turning to Facebook groups in hopes of feeding their babies. Once they contact me back, some of them can pay. I've shipped out some for free and I've shipped out some. I collect payment on PayPal. It's real easy. Maria Shea out of North Carolina is shipping across the state as the formula shortage is affecting three out of four babies in the country. A reality that Priscilla Gonzalez is facing herself. Not everybody can breastfeed or you might be fostering a kid or you adopted someone or there's like many reasons why breastfeed isn't an option. Only 26% of babies in the U.S. are exclusively breastfed, and Priscilla's two-month-old twins are not in that statistic. When we were about to get discharged, I kind of went into a panic because my milk hadn't come in, and I didn't know what I was going to do. But as she and other parents keep looking for baby formula, she's grateful for the community that has come together to help. We have a Facebook page, and so anytime any of the neighbors go to a store, they take a picture of the uh, formula aisle, wherever they're at, and post it on the page. Um, and so, and with a timestamp, so that way people like in the community know, like if they're looking for a specific one. Nevada County's WIC program is working directly with families to meet unique needs and help the most impacted families, which are babies requiring special care, premature, and other therapeutic formulas. We are um, talking to them when they're having difficulty with uh, finding a resource for the formula, directing them to local grocers that may have it in stock, those that we've already talked to. We are helping them transition to formulas that are comparable within the WIC. County officials are also asking residents who have unused and unexpired formula to donate it to food banks. Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. And there's this, the Better Business Bureau is warning parents to watch out for scams that are online. In some of the cases here, people are paying for baby formula that they never receive. It usually happens through social media. Experts say that the scammer will share pictures of the cans to convince you that it's real. The scams can, reported, can be reported, that is, to the Better Business Bureau scam tracker.